Our focus is on tropical peatlands. Peatlands are type of wetlands. Despite its 3% coverage of the Earth's surface, surprisingly, it contributes up to 650 gigatons of global soil, car soil carbon. Nearly half of tropical peatlands are located in Indonesia. Naturally, peatlands are covered by dense, pristine vegetation, but currently it's undergoing degradation or drainage due to plantation and agricultural purposes. It continues to rain following with the pit subsidence and end up with the irreversible subsidence. Conventionally, pit subsidence is monitored by surface change monitoring. Other terrestrial methods including geodetic based monitoring and RSET image. INSA can detect surface motion with larger coverage. The traditional DINSA has the limitation of the correlation in densely vegetated areas, which is normally found also in tropical peatlands. Time, time series as bus can minimize this problem and has been applied by some previous studies. It is supported by the freely available Sentinel-1 C-band with 12 days revisit. We aim to estimate the uh, pit subsidence in Bukalis Island using Sentinel-1 and SBUS in SAR method. Our study area is located in Bukalis Island, a pit covered island with five pit domes. We can see that most areas has been, have been converted to plantation, remaining only a small area of forest. Massive land use conversion and land, land fires occurred in decades are also reported. Our methods use Sentinel-1 data acquired from 2017-2018. The data were processed using the approach of small subset baseline in SAR. We determined the temporal baseline of a half a year and a coherence threshold of 0.2, referring to similar studies. Validation used groundwater level data converted to annual vertical displacement. We collected the data in the field supplemented with the daily monitoring system data, which is also used to derive annual growth data from the field data. Our recent results cover around 68% of the study area. As we can see that nearly the whole area is subsiding with a mean of total displacement is uh, minus 3.4 cm. It precisely measured the showing by the minimum displacement in the stable area. Due to the correlation, a large area of oil palm plantations couldn't be characterized. From the profile lines, the subsidence rates in 2018-2019 is higher shown by the sparse lines in, the, in this period. These two sites are the daily groundwater level monitoring systems. We can see that the vertical displacement follows the condition of groundwater level, as, we, as also reported by previous terrestrial-based studies. We calculated vertical velocity from the initial observation date 2017 and from 2019. The recent one has a higher correlation which more represents the current condition. Future studies may shorten the observation period since it also affects the coherence that may increase. The, the mean rate is minus 1.14 cm per year, which is lower than the average long-term pit subsidence. We found that our results are underestimated with the mean difference nearly 1 cm per year. We observed that it might be because of the filtering based atmospheric correction used in the study, also because of the minimum norm solution from SVD reported by some research. The overall error of our results is 1.5 represented by the RMEC values. We found that the performance varies according to land use types. With the error in, is smaller for land use uh, with more exposed ground. It's likely due to the volume decorrelation in the dense vegetation area. We summarized um, based on our results, Daniel 1 couldn't estimate vertical displacement in large area of oil palm plantations due to decorrelation. Based on Esbas in SAR, nearly in the whole <coughs> Bukalis Island is subsiding with a mean rate of minus 1.14 cm per year. Our result is underestimated with a mean difference of uh, nearly 1 cm per year for, from the validation data. The overall RMSC is 1.5 with the values fried according to land use types. Thank you.